Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's explore Shrewsbury in the shopping centre. And there's a cool trader there that's still open. That's the only place that's open in here at the minute. And then another uh, shopping centre. It's a different one, this one. Of course, everything's closed, as you'd expect. We've even got a lot, actually. No sex shop, though. Or toilets. I'm not even asking what the hell that's doing there. <laughs> if you like old architecture, then you've got things like that tower there, which is really nice. But then you've got buildings like this, which kind of blow that completely away. You have little buildings, and then you have old buildings as well. So this is a, a town with lots and lots of history. So we're right near a big wall here with a lovely old gate on it. I don't know where the gate goes. It does seem to be a very big wall for some reason. And I don't know why. I'm going to find out. I'm going to explore. A bit further away from the wall and you can see it goes up to a tower. So we're going to find out what the tower is. It's a bit windy up here, but there's one tower. And then you look, there's another tower there. And look how high up we are. We're level with the clock tower. And the clock tower is part of, I assume, the railway station. So it's quite a hilly around here. It's got to be set. Still not the wiser as to what the uh, tower is, but we're in a tunnel. Well, it's more of a bridge actually, and we're going over the railway station. So uh, that's nice about the railway tracks. Behind me is Shrewsbury's. A uh, prison, although it's not a prison anymore. In fact, it's not anything anymore. It was a tourist thing, but now you can buy it and turn it into something where people want to stay, as opposed to not want to stay, i.e. a prison. Uh, if we look around here, you can see some of the other buildings as well. So it's all, all that as well. So it could be a hotel or apartments, whatever, but I imagine the rooms are quite small and probably haunted. Other ghosts don't exist, obviously. This is the Butter Market. It's closed at the moment because it's too warm to sell butter, it goes off too quickly. Right, so I've just walked down this hill to what I thought was a simple railway bridge, like that, but it's not. It's got even more, it's got a tunnel going through it. So it's a three way, four way, five way junction underneath the railway line. Bonkers! As I come out from underneath the bridge, I find the platform. It looks like it's actually <coughs> fallen off the bridge. Oops. Shrewsbury Railway Station is a beautiful building and it is right next to the railway line, which is very handy if you want to get a train from it. A lot of the architecture is very old. It's pre-war. That's pre the second American Civil War, which hasn't started at the time of filming. This rather majestic building here, again, is pre uh, second American Civil War, but it's got a statue of uh, Darwin there, uh, James Darwin, who actually brought the animal, the creature that he discovered, that the whole town, city is named after. He found the shrew with one um, spherical object bigger than the other one. And they didn't want to call it, so they put it on exhibition here in this shop. Um, for about 30 years, sadly, the, the um, thing died, um, but they called it the shrew's berry. So people come to look at the shrew's berry because they wouldn't say testicle or no, or the gonads. Uh, so they said the shrew's berry and the name stuck sadly it died a while ago and it was just a boil on its bowl so a bit pointless really but anyway the name stuck and that's why shrewsbury is called shrewsbury because of the shrew's big bury once again the architecture here is absolutely amazing and really really old obviously these houses are uh, that old that colored paint wasn't invented when they were put up um they look like they're going to fall down but they look all right they look pretty I'm not saying all the buildings look like they're going to fall down, but I think that one does. But this one doesn't. This is a grand place of worship of fairy tales. It's even got a boarded up, you know me, I like a boarded up something. It's got a boarded up window. I said that was a window. Yeah, it must have been a window. Anyway, they're not using it now. So look at the front. Sometimes if I say something, it doesn't kind of make sense. Uh, I know, it's weird, but look at this. I don't think I have to say anything. This is a fabulous building. Blue plaque tells me that this was built in 1549, which is about 10 to 6, no, 10 to 4. Um, they've done well, it's a big building. It used to be a hall for people to go meet. Now it's something to do with the National Lottery, I don't know. Pretty much everywhere you look in this place, there is black and white buildings like the, this one here, which is a closed pub at the minute. 
and these here which are a bit uh, more rickety although that one's a brown and white building because it's even older and there's a big church there as well the road signs are interesting uh, that one says St Mary Street and the one next to it says uh, dog poo um, but it's the same it's the same road no matter how you look at it it's the same road so why has it got two names that's ridiculous you don't get that in Wigan oh yeah hang on you get some uh, baroque buildings like that one I haven't said Baroque for a while, so I thought I'd say Baroque. And then you get some really classy buildings like this one here. Again, even older, they didn't even have paint for black paint when this was built. But it, the, all the buildings kind of intermingle with each other. They all kind of go behind each other. Um, it's a really higgledy-piggledy uh, village, town, city, whatever it is. Shrewsbury. Again, there's some houses down there. If I walk forward, you'll see that they're actually behind are all shops insane this street here is amazing every building on this side is white and black architecture and absolutely stunning and it's on a hill as well they could build on hills it's impressive even though cars hadn't been invented when these were built they still put a car park in there it's very very impressive indeed again underneath this building there's another walkway to what looks like Certainly another building or a house, but it's hidden. Another walkway, which has a sign there saying the wall is old. Don't attach, don't put prams next to it. Let's have a walk through and see what's at the other end. I can hear them. Yeah. Can you screw some kids? That's weird. Yeah, walk through that bit. Very narrow, very narrow indeed. And then at the end, another little tunnel. Which brings out what looks like a shopping street, but a very narrow one. Could be wrong. I'm wrong. <laughs> it's just an alleyway. We've got yet another amazing little walkway uh, barracks passage it says i could have thought of a better name for it than that i can't think of a barracks passage to be fair but again although we've got this weird modern building which just looks out of place so at least they could always clad it with something and you've got the really cute building at the end so i love this place i can't say anything bad about it even though the jewelers is called the snotty fox you can't take away the impressiveness of this area and part of the town. Absolutely amazing. Not all the businesses are new, although this one is very old, Sodom. But it used to have Gamaya next to it, but now it's just got bomb walls instead. I don't know where Gamaya went. Some of the buildings are the first buildings in the world to have brick in them. But even then, it was old fashioned because it still needed wood to hold the bricks together. There are some things that ooze class and history, and this is one of them. This is the Golden Cross, and oh my word. How quaint is this? So you've got a thing at the end that goes over, this little tunnel at the end as well. And this little bit in the middle, which is a, I assume a pub or a restaurant. Unfortunately, due to certain restrictions at the minute, it's all closed, but it is a beautiful little alleyway. I'm loving these alleyways. into well there's a big building there that goes under oh, wow I'm just loving it and they're nice and cool in here as well so if you're hot and sweaty you can go for a walk through these and they'll keep you cool one thing there is a lot of is cars there's also a house of Fraser there which seems to be boarded up at the minute but again it's a beautiful building unlike this one which is made out of concrete however I'm not a big fan of coffee as you know but I'm a big fan of this Costa coffee. Look at that. How old is that? That must be the first Costa coffee ever opened. This place just gets better and better and better. There's a statue there that's very rude. He's not looking at us, but he's looking at those buildings over there. And I would look at them as well because they are stunningly nice. However, there's nothing compared to the building that's in front of me that you can't see um, because, well, I'm not near it, but I'm walking to it now. 
I mean, these buildings here are an abomination. I don't know why these are even been allowed to be built. They're horrendous, especially when you've got stuff like this, which has got a wicking clock in it, and you can walk underneath it as well. It's like a massive tunnel thing. It's beautiful, absolutely amazing. It's the old market hall, it says. Built in 1596, even before they invented markets. So it's quite impressive. And uh, as we walk underneath it, stairs going up to other rooms. There's a lift here as well that they put in. So you can go up the stairs. As you come out the other side, that I want one I can't take it home it's got a sundial which is this year's big thing and it's actually telling the right time or it was until the cloud came over I was impressed momentarily the first one that's actually told the right time out of all the sundials I've seen this year so far how depressing is that no not the game that building and it's even got a clock tower on it which doesn't have any hands on the clock absolute disgrace this moss building is just a shop at the bottom but it's got this weird roof going on and what's even weirder is well it's a wall isn't it but what's weird is the roof as well also goes up for no reason whatsoever that i can make out how very peculiar a combination of old stone building and uh, wood and plaster building there uh, now the jewels but the stone building used to be the royal insurance company i don't even remember them although i'm very old some buildings look like they're going to fall down this one looks like it already has from that angle it looks a bit wobbly but if i stand here it's like how the hell is that staying up love it even at the side of the buildings the doors aren't square in the frames the whole thing is uh it looks like it's about to fall down. I don't think it will fall down, but it, it looks like it might do. To be a shame, because it's a really nice building. Even though cars weren't invented, Shrewsbury has got a lot of car parking spaces. I mean, forward planning or what? Unbelievable for a gothic building. Look at that doorway. It's like the gates to the Hounds of Hell. The Hounds of the Baskervilles, which of course was written by Trevor Jones. It's come from uh, Shropshire. The other side of the building is called, um, well, it's made of wood and it's called, where is it? Erector Scaffolding, which is a weird name for a building. Another really cute walkway. This one's on the hill. Brings us from down there up here, but what's at the top? So at the top of the hill is this splendid building, which is some kind of uh, church, I do believe. Very, very, very fancy. And it's right next to a park, which people are social distancing in, which is good to see. And it's a massive park, it goes on forever. Well, it goes on for quite a long way anyway. The gates into here, into the park, are weird. And there's big open bits, but there's little ones as well, like it's some kind of football ground, something like that. You know, like they have the, the gates that spin round, but without the gates that spin round, just narrow gaps for you to squeeze through. It's really weird, considering how big the park is. Even the park has a car park. It's bonkers. As you know, there's a lot of money here in Shrewsbury. And look at the size of the river. It's huge. It's the biggest river I've seen. It's almost as big as a lake. And it's got a little boat on it as well, giving pleasure trips for people. The building behind me is the old armory. And that's where they used to keep uh, bombs and guns and things like that, which was a bit dangerous, but it didn't matter too much because if anything went off, they could just chuck it in the river. So it's quite well designed. If you like statues to be big and uh, a little bit weird, you can do that one. I don't know who made it, but I don't think they had a backbone. That there is the Theatre 7. But I've not seen theatre one, two, three, four, five, or six. Weird. So if you want to come somewhere that's got one of the biggest rivers I've ever seen. It's massive. Loads of old buildings, loads of character, lots of narrow streets, lots of little walkways to walk down. And, well, it's not got the uh, shrew with the big berry anymore. You can do a lot worse than come to Shrewsbury. Till next time. Goodbye. Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's explore. Good boy. 
Right then. So. As I come out from underneath, once again, the architecture. Let's do that again. I'll be able to look at that in a minute. It's a good place to have a game of hide and go seek because round about that area is where I just come out. And as you're more than likely already gathered, there's a lot of money here in. Uh, I thought I heard someone shouting then. I'll start again. As you probably gathered, there's a lot of money here in, um, I forgot what it's called. Oh yeah, 